Okay. Okay. I have an idea. Okay. Why don't you do this? What? Why don't we, you do the intro, like, you know, hi, this, welcome to, and then, you know, Glitchy and Phoenix or whatever it is we're going to name mm -hmm. it. And then I'll say, and I'm, you know, Alex and then, you know, do it that way. Mm -hmm. And and I kind of want to start off the, the, the topic because okay. I think I have. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Glitchy and Phoenix as we do what we do best. Complain about shit and make it funny. I'm here yeah. with... I'm Alex. Hi. Let's begin! Alex, I believe you wanted to start off the topic of this video, which is clickbait. Okay, guys. So, this is our first video. So, we wanted to start with something that is pretty common at YouTube. Clickbait. Now, using clickbait titles such as... Um, nakedness in your fucking video stream titles or someone is, getting banned from YouTube is basically the equivalent of you telling your significant other on April Fool's Day will you marry me and then going ha April Fool's it's not funny it's not just funny just stop stop just fucking stop fucking stop <laughs> it, I, it, oh man i cannot tell you how many times i've clicked on videos and it's like, oh, this should be funny, and then it's nothing at all like what the title says. Exactly. For instance, mo the most recent incidents that brought us to this point was, I'm into watching Markiplier play videos, do his thing, and just generally be a raging fucking ball of crazy. Which is fine, he's funny, he's cute, he's got a nice voice, blah blah blah. Problem is, Alex doesn't really like him very much, which is fine, it's whatever, but I do. Problem is... In one of his more recent videos, he had a massive clickbait title, which was Markiplier Gets Banned from YouTube, followed by the game title, which, honestly, I didn't think he was actually getting banned from YouTube, but I clicked it anyways because curiosity got the better of me, and that's exactly what clickbait does. Needlessly pokes at a person's concerns, fears, or even things that they want to see, like funniness or entertainment. What he well, did was... Bullshit, in my opinion. And I made a comment about him saying he's such a good YouTuber that he doesn't need to pull this bullshit on his viewers. And he hurt a lot of people doing that. Well, and it's kind of stupid to begin with because a video titled Markiplier Gets Banned from YouTube. Okay, if he was actually banned from YouTube, that video would have never gone out. Exactly. So, what the actual fuck? Really? I mean, you know it's not going to be accurate. That's like saying, you know... Um, that's like a video of a popular YouTuber saying, so-and-so strips down. You're not actually going to see them naked on YouTube. That's against the terms of service. Which, I have two prime examples of YouTubers that are famous that have done these things. Connor Franza, for instance, has made videos claiming that he has gotten a strip dance from Tyler Oakley and that you get to see it in said video. Obviously, that goes against YouTube rules and nudity laws and whatnot on YouTube. But it's Don't get clickbait. me wrong, I'd love to see it. I would love, love to, to see it. Tyler Oakley doing a lap dance. To any number of YouTuber males. Or females, I don't care. But clickbait is clickbait, and clickbait is wrong! Yeah, also, I'm, I'm going to take the time. I should have probably said this at the beginning of the video. <laughs> These videos are for a mature audience only. Ah, um, yes. I don't have a profanity filter. Nor so do if I. you have children... And I would suggest you not allow your children to watch our videos because, um, yeah, they're probably going to learn some very choice words, and I don't want to be responsible for that. And awkward sex positions that you just don't want to explain. Yeah, yeah, because we get pretty dirty pretty fast. So, yes. um, that, well, that, that's another example of clickbait. That would be like, <laughs> um, the, the, here's a good one. The screen caps that go on each of the YouTube titles. Yes. You know, there are all sorts of videos all over YouTube that have screen caps of cleavage or... Asses you being know, slapped. Or women in bikinis. Okay, look, we know. Sex sells. Men, we know. Sex sells. We know. I'm personally gay, so that doesn't do anything for me. But I know there's men that do. But you should not be and using women. this shit. You should not be using this shit to get views. Exactly. Your content should speak for itself. Precisely. 
Now, if you want to, you know, have a screen cap, let's say something really stupid happens during the video, and you want to capture a really, f like, weird fucked up face you made, that's perfectly fine. As that long as it's in the video! Video. Yeah, as long as it's in the video. Don't do something unrelated, you know, like a fucking picture of a fucking cat doing a handstand when you're doing a video on a drinking game. What the fuck? Don't do a picture of Miley Cyrus making out with Madonna when your video is about ice cream flavors. It I, I does mean, not work. We know Madonna will make out with any woman that she can get her hands on, but, you know... That's her prerogative. That's not, yeah, and it's not applicable to the video at hand. Ice so cream you, has nothing to do with Madonna, unless you want to get into some really kinky fucked up territory, and we're not doing that right now. Another example of YouTubers using clickbait is Joey Graceffa and the fact that he has recently come out as gay. That's great. That's good for him. But here recently, every single fucking video he has put out has been about the fact that he takes dick up the ass or gives it. I don't know if he's a top or bottom. I don't care. It's not my business. I don't oh, care that he's gay. He can be all gay. We, we, we know the answer to that. He's a fucking bottom. <laughs> he's a bottom. That. He's a fucking bottom, and I know it. But I was trying to be now, diplomatic about this. Now, I, like I, I, I do want to... Shush! I do wanna shush! End. Alex! Shush! Shush! Real quick! Hold on! Don't make that face of me. One perfect example of his clickbaiting with the fact that he has recently come out is one of his more recent videos is titled Keep Calm and Gay On. Wait. What is the point? Yeah. It doesn't tell you anything about what the video is about. Um... It requires you to watch the video to understand it. Now, exactly. don't get me wrong. We are both homosexual friendly. I'm gay myself. And he's my um, best friend, and I love gay people. I love straight people. I don't care. Actually, I hate everybody but, equally, but there's a difference. I'm not no, homophobic. There's no reason for you to use your sexuality, especially on YouTube. Exactly. Every queen, Every queen and their brother has come <laughs> out on YouTube recently. and that's Every okay. queen and their that's brother turned thing. their sister has come out on YouTube recently, and that's fine. It's a mass media frenzy, whatever. Come out, and have solid, fun, but don't make that be what every single fucking video afterwards is about. It's and solidarity, solidarity amongst the LGBT community is great, but... Personally, my sexuality does not define me. Exactly. It's a part of me. It doesn't define me. So people should really think about these things before they, you know, make 9,000 videos about how gay they are. Okay, we get it. We really fucking get it. You shit glitter and fart <laughs> rainbows. We get it. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Exactly. I, and like I said, like we both said, we're not hating on the gay community. We're not hating on these particular YouTubers or anything like that. We love people. We love gays, straights, bi's, transgenders, lesbians, whatever you are. As long as you're not being a gigantic fucking douche nozzle about the whole damn situation or whatever. Just be you. Have a good time. Have a good life. But don't fucking sit there and act like it is the most important thing in the world that you are this way or that way. It's just one small part of what or who you are. It doesn't define you as a person. You define you as a person. Exactly. This went from being about clickbait to c c human rights and shit real damn quick. Which, <laughs> this brings up another topic. Um, we go off on tangents a lot. A lot. Um, so, what you click with the title may not be exactly what it ends up with at the end. Precisely. Um, I promise we won't do clickbait, but... It's going to be one of these things You might where get more than you bargained for, because we don't do clickbait, but... There you'll be most likely thing. get more than what you bargained for, let's mm. be honest. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, yeah, you're going to get a lot more than you bargained for. A lot more. Um, and we're hoping to, just with these videos, kind of address issues and things that people don't really talk about. And I'm sure if we can figure out how to make it work, um, <laughs> there may be some gaming things in there somewhere. I'd love to do like a, a gaming news segment where we just talk about random gaming things, which this yes. week I've had about all the gaming news that I can put in the stomach. <laughs> E3! Um, <laughs> yes. Which, Mass Effect wrong. Andromeda, Mass Effect Andromeda, talk about a tangent, we just did it! <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Remake, oh my god! <laughs> okay, anyway, 
Back okay. to topic. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you're you're gonna get tangents. Um, we're gonna try to have a topic for each video, although we may do like a casual Friday or something where it's just whatever the fuck comes to mind. Or whatever the fuck pisses us um, off at that point. <laughs> which there's probably gonna be a lot of us. <laughs> we're we're a stream of consciousness people. It just we go off in one direction, and it just is what it is. It's never so, just one direction. And by the way, I don't like that band. And all the little, uh, all the all the little One Directioners trying to go around and get all these people like buried in like unloved and stuff. If you try to go up against Tyler Oakley, you're gonna fail. Tyler Oakley's fucking amazing, and he's way better than goddamn One Direction, no matter what anyone says. And, so and suck I my have, dick. I don't have a I have a dick. But I have an issue with the teeny bopper flavor of the month anyway. Justin Bieber, Justin One Direction. Bieber, One Direction, um, all the fucking five seconds of summer, and everybody else. You know, just because you can captivate an 11 year old audience <laughs> doesn't mean I need to hear about you every second. Exactly. Sorry. I, we, we lived through that with NSYNC and Backstreet Boys. Oh, and they were a okay. hell of a lot more fucking edgy than anything fucking One Direction's put out. I, I have to admit, I still like Backstreet Boys. They still put out music. Do they? Yes, they do. And also, and I... if we want to go way further back, clock my age, or general age, motherfucking Backstreet, not Backstreet Boys, uh, New Kids on the Block. New Kids on the Block. Yeah. You know, and Vanilla Ice like and Marky Mark. New kids, new kids on the block are still going. They are. Um, they, did a, they did a tour with Backstreet Boys a couple years ago. Yeah, didn't they also Actually. recently do a video? Like, I'm fairly sure they did a video with Lady Gaga, or like a, a song at least. I think they did actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, they did. They did. I have it. I have the song. I just can't remember what it's called. I think it's either I, on Born This Way or. Mm... Oh hell, I remember the song now, and I can't think of the name. Um, yeah, I think it was on Born This Way, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm fucking with my bangs. Also, that's like, one thing you'll see a whole lot of in these videos. I'm going to constantly fuck with my hair. Yeah, and I'm going to do, like, weird things with my hands. And your tongue. And non explicit. Non explicit. But yeah, the topics that may possibly come up are things in the news, music, gaming. Things movies, on YouTube. Things on YouTube. YouTube culture in general. Mm -hmm. um, Tumblr, Twitter. Twitch. Not Hitbox because we don't really avoid that anymore. Um, and that's kind of sad because Hitbox works really well. But Hitbox there's no... used to be good, but there's nobody really that streams there that we watch. It's a ghost town, and it's, it's sad. Ghost town. I'm yeah. hoping. I'm hoping YouTube Gaming, with their live stream system. Mm. Um, we'll do better, which, if you haven't heard anything about that, I will try to hunt down a link to put in the description of this video, because it's a really cool fucking idea. Um, also, if anybody wants to give us any hints or tips or ideas about fucking music that we could play as a background sound that won't get us arrested or get our videos taken down, please tell us yeah, the comments. Yeah, because I look really bad in stripes and orange, so arresting me would not be good. Um... <laughs> Also, if you I don't like, look good in orange and stripes either. Oh God! Help! Also, Help! <laughs> <laughs> also, if you would like, you can um, comment on the video and give us suggestions about things to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, we may get to them. We may not. We may go off on a tangent as we normally do. Um, and if you just want to tell us how fucking stupid we are, I mean, it's you. Feel free to, but also. Quite well, you should understand that we will probably roast you in the co in these next videos once we see said comments. Or we'll just ignore you outright because you mean nothing to us if you're an asshole. Yeah. And hey, if you're here to make nice comments and give constructive criticism, you're awesome and I love you! Otherwise... That too. Suck a dick. And, um... Mm. We will try to put some pertinent information on... Um, where you can find us normally on in the description, like Twitter and things like that, if you'd like to follow. You will not be getting um, our Skype information. Fuck no. <laughs> um, no offense, guys. No offense. Um, Actually, a little bit of offense. Don't fucking try to Skype me. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, and I, I write gaming news for a living. 
Ah, um, yes, we will be so, providing links in the description below to his wonderful articles. That too. Give him yes. a read. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing here. Um, so This is just I basically hope- a test video and so that we have something on our page. Um, but generally videos will kind of run like this with us ranting about whatever topic and probably spider ranting off into a million other topics because that's what happens. And a uh, disclaimer here, we're kind of new at this, so there's probably not going to be a whole lot of editing done in these beginning episodes. <laughs> um, Unless one of my friends takes massive pity on our souls and decides to help us edit shit, you get what you get. Yeah. Including um, the massive so... black bar of nothingness down below us in the videos. <laughs> So yeah, it's probably going to be what it's going to be. I'm hoping that we'll be able to spice it up in future videos. But for now, we're sorry that it looks like shit, but it kind of does. Sorry, not sorry. It's just the way it is. We're beginners. Um, but yeah, so I think we'll call this first video here. And yeah. um, I hope you guys like it. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful day. A wonderful whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't care. Just have a good time. And stay sexy. Stay sexy. Yeah, I think that should be our outro. Stay sexy. And subscribe. Subscribe, goddammit! <laughs> I'm gonna get copyrighted on that shit. Subscribe. <laughs> Alright. Bye! Subscribe. Subscribe.